they'll be cheering for both Scott and their Seawolves to have a good game here today. As we are underway, week 16, here in Major League Rugby, Seattle and San Diego. When Seattle pulled it out at the very end. You see the players, influential as Cecil Africa. He slices through on the kick return. It's a try saver in the end there. Defending at 13, a difficult channel for the first time. Leitner and Smith out of position as well. 15, an opportunity for those outside backs for the Legion. Indeed, we'll see how Fuchi does at 13, one of the most difficult jobs in rugby. The opening try will go to the Legion. Peter Malcolm, we're talking all backs. It's the forwards who get it done. In their structure, using the forwards. And it's the danger of those forwards that creates space for the back line as well. Easy work. It's Paddy Ryan. Let's do it the old-fashioned way, right over the top. Augsburg at the back, beautiful pass. Iglesias to Africa, equally as good Africa with space. Matthias, well, it's just like they drew it up on the whiteboard of practice. Executed to perfection, and San Diego, they will get their second of the match. Either has to hang back and cover, or he's got to come into the back line. But Cecil Africa draws two defenders, and watch the flat pass. This is what does it. Smith can't get out to defend Matthias. Matthias has miles of room to run into and just makes it look easy. Tommy Vena had come all the way off his blindside wing to help out. Sorry about that. Women's teams out there today watching this match. There are a few supporters. And we'll get right back to you on that, Addy, as Ryan Matthias looks for his second. Cam Clark. Dragged down just inches from the line here, the Legion. The men's and women's team both depart on the 13th from LA. Put in from Augsburger, Tamalau controls the back. Balances away. As he grabs across field, Augsburger, he'll play quickly. Iglesias equally, they come wide, Zarconi, there he is, Cole Zarconi, his first try in Major League Rugby, the second round draft pick for the Legion, he gets over in the corner. Celebrating too, you know, getting new players on the field, Zarconi, he's had some minutes during the MLR, but normally wouldn't be a, a starter necessarily, it's certainly not in the beginning of the season, but you got to have a full roster, you got to have some depth, Zarconi comes in, just does his job. Space on the corner. There's just not enough resources for Seattle to cover the entire width of the field. Good pass to Zarconi on the way in. Again, forces JP Smith to go back. A wayward pass. Oh, they're queuing up. Lutz flicks ones over the top to Clark to Mattias and Ryan Mattias. The mistake from the Seawolves will give him you just don't know if that's seven or five it's pretty close to the line but that's his second of the mat just a big mistake there going over the top alatimo's only five foot eight inches just can't get a grip on the ball great work from clark to Matthias. ferris quickly to his right alatimo lets one go floats it wide Carson works his way back into the midfield, looking perhaps for a try to make up for the early yellow card, but execution potentially letting them down. Well, he deserves this. Reno Herbst, he has been the busiest man on the field in a green jersey, and he gets five points for his side here in Seattle. Creative. It's just smash mouth rugby. Phase after phase, penalty advantage being played here. And then Herbst. Augsburger goes quick. Lutz. Oh, a little opening there for Tian Lutz. Back inside to Clark. You will not catch Cam Clark from here. A valiant effort from Smith, but Cam Clark. Some of the fastest feet in Major League Rugby. He gets his first try of the day next to the post. This is the turnaround here. Yeah, it goes quickly, but 
Watch how easy it is for Lutz to skip through. Tackle missed, a support runner. Full speed downhill into a standing defense. And that's an easy one for Cam Clark. Mungaloa, he'll get his first touch here for the second half. I believe offsides against San Diego. So working with advantage here. Spotted a little gap. Shut quickly though. To come wide now. Leitner. He's taken down just outside the 22 meter line. This is a good start here in the second half for the Seawolves. As Compter goes forward as well. Joyce picks up to Y. Ferris plays quickly to his left. As Manoa lays this one back. Futi. Samu Manoa with another strong run. Support coming on the inside in the shape of Larson. Larson to Ferris. Alatimu, good interchange here from the Seawolves. Malcolm. Well, this prolific try scoring hooker, he adds to his tally for the year. Find the offload, and then Alatimu with the offload from the ground as well. And watch the big man rumble. Larson on the spot there. Ferris dishes it to Alatimu. He finds Malcolm off the ground. The dish there is good. And a great start for Seattle. And you got to imagine if, if you're Alan Clark at halftime, you know, wear the number six and carry that shape around. You got to do some work. No, he's not. Hey, open play. Franklin reads that one beautifully. So Scott Green, third time, reaches into that right pocket, pulls out the yellow, and gives Rhino Herbst a 10-minute break. Now tap again, Larson. Ball comes out to the back. Smith waiting. They're short yet again. Oh, they won't be denied a third time, though. There's Tommy Clark. He dots it down under the post. That's an automatic seven. And now a breath of life into this Seattle Seawolf side. Just a leg drive from Clark, and he finds the line. Pifoletti. They pick up Franklin. Turned over. Larson over the top of the ball against his old team. And they move it to the left. Quick hands. Futi though under pressure. What a mess of bodies there as we try to clear it up and go again. Seattle. That one pulled back by the Legion and towed over. And that should wrap us up here in San Diego. The clock on the wrist of Scott Green, and it is all done. As the San Diego Legion, they will take the points in this battle of the great rivalry between these two sides.